birthday is coming, and that means sweets for your sweetie. But do you ever wonder how candy gets so sweet? There is a science to that, and Sarah Neff of the Imagination Station is here to explain exactly what that is. Sarah, I'm excited, but I did ask her if she brought me any candy. She <laughs> said, you're not going to want to eat this stuff. Probably not. Um, so, like you said, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and yeah. Scientific Sweetness is actually beginning at Imagination Station tomorrow. So that okay. will run Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we're doing all kinds of experiments and activities that kind of go along with those sweet treats in this holiday. I'm excited about this. So tell so, us what we have. Well, I thought we would test the pH or do some chemistry today. So we're yeah. going to test the pH of some different candies. Okay. Okay. So um, I've actually got some sweet tarts in my mortar and pestle here. So I'm going to go ahead and have you grind those up. Okay. Um, and on top of my light box here, I have six flasks, and each one is um, full of a blue indicator liquid. Um, you know that I love to do indicators here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't get away from them. Don't you make it at home with cabbage? You do. Very yeah. good. See? You've been uh, paying attention. Yep. <laughs> um, but each one, like I said, it has a measured amount, so there's 100 milliliters in each one. And what we're really trying to get across to kids when they come to do this experiment mm -hmm. is that um, there's a process, and we're teaching them how to measure and how to be accurate. Yeah, and I love that. And how to be good scientists. Yeah. Um, so how does your, how do your sweet tarts look? I got a stubborn purple one in there, but everything there? else looks to be good to go. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right, perfect. So what I've got here is I've got another small beaker, and this has 50 milliliters of water. Okay. Okay, and so you are going to add some of your sweet tart powder into our small beaker. Okay, how much? Um, maybe like two or three candies worth. Okay. Oh. Oops, I'll hold that for you. I'm going to make a mess of this. There, that looks good. Okay, great. All right, so go ahead and kind of stir that together. Now, when you were grinding it with your mortar and pestle, that kind of um, signified the chewing process. So when you put candy in, your yeah. teeth kind of chomp it and grind it up. Okay. And then we've added it to this water, and we're going to call that our spit cup. Yeah. So that water is just like the saliva in your mouth. It's going to kind of help break down and um, dissolve that candy. Okay. So what you want to do now is take one full pipette. So, yep and let it fill up all the way. So now you've got okay. one pipette full of our sweet tart candy. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add that to our indicator solution. Okay. So go ahead and... All of it? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Ah. So we'll kind of swirl that. And we can see we got a little bit of a color change there. Mm -hmm. Kind of a green. Right. And um, we are, are going to test five things. And I do have one down here that's going to stay blue because that is our control. And that's a very okay. important part of doing an experiment. So those are the kinds of things we're stressing to kids as we're teaching them. We're scientists. Right. Yes. Okay. Now the next thing I've got is chocolate because you can't do a Valentine's mm. experiment without chocolate. Of course not. So um, I actually got, went ahead and soaked those. So go ahead and get another full pipette. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add that to 100 milliliters of our indicator solution. And Sarah was right. I do not want to eat this chocolate. Yeah, it doesn't look very good after <laughs> no. we uh, soak it down a little. So we'll swirl that one. That one kind of stays the same color. Cool. Now, the difference in these two is that our sweet tarts contain citric acid, which is a common um, ingredient in a lot of candies. Okay. It's what gives it that kind of tart punch. Yeah. So it says it in the name. It's sweet tarts, right? Yeah. Um, so our chocolate didn't really change. Uh, this one, these are some sour gummies. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and let you put that one in as well. Okay, I think I know what's going to happen here. You feel good about this one? Yeah. <laughs> Woo. And that one turns red almost instantly. Ah. That one is very acidic. Okay. And it's important to talk about acids. Again, that's that citric acid that's in that candy mm -hmm. um, because it's actually very bad for your tooth enamel. So it's going to break oh. down the enamel that's on your teeth, anything mm -hmm. lower than a pH of six. And water is a seven. Does that mean chocolate <laughs> is good for me? That means, <laughs> yes. It's okay for my teeth. I'm not a doctor, but <laughs> I would say of your choices, that might be a better one. Okay, what do we have next? Um, what we've got here, this is actually time for the pop quiz. Okay. All right, so I've got my pop quiz here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. Um, now, of these two, which do you think is going to be worse for your teeth? I'll let you take a guess. I'm going to guess the Sprite. The clear one? We, yes. have, we have a clear soda and a dark soda. Oh, so the dark soda is probably worse. Well, I changed my answer. No, are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's test them and find out, okay? okay? All right, so what I've got, I've got another 50 milliliters. Now, this one we're not going to use a pipette for because usually when you drink soda, you kind of just it's throw it back. Right? right, okay. So you can go ahead and add that to our beaker. Okay. Go ahead and dump it all in there. Very acidic, right? Now, yep, that's our dark soda. Okay. And go ahead and add the clear soda as well. Oh, boy. Now I'm going to be wrong either way because I picked both. 
So that Ooh. one, if we compare them, this one's a little more red. Yeah. And the reason is our dark soda has um, phosphoric acid uh -huh. and our clear soda has um, citric acid. Oh, So okay. it's kind of a trade-off. Dark soda yeah. stains your teeth, citric acid in Arose. clear soda. Right. So oh. it's kind of just, you know, picking and choosing your battles when you go through those things. Very but like cool. I said, this is one of the activities you'll see during Scientific Sweetness. Yep. Um, we've got other things like gumdrop geodomes that we'll be making. We'll be Ooh. blowing up the peeps like I did last oh, week. Oh, yeah. So yep. lots of cool things this weekend. And again, it's all about the scientific process. It's about measuring and being good scientists. That's we what can we're help, really stressing. We can help Mallory at the car show today pick her favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> she can pick her favorite car. And she'll also be joining you guys tomorrow morning. So yes. we'll have more of a preview of this event happening at the Imagination Station.